Hey, what's up, guys? It's Craig Syracuse of Walk in Faith. Happy Tuesday, August 18th. The summer is almost over. I know you guys are ready to get back into the fall weather. Choosing to follow. If anyone desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. That's Matthew. Are you in a situation that is not God's best for you? Are you facing the consequences of your own decisions and wondering if he will ever help you again? First of all, he will always help you. But see how it says your decisions. So that means that you didn't discern. You didn't ask God. You just made a decision on your own. And now you're wondering, will God still help me? Does he still love me? And the answer is yes. While the Father is always glad to provide the wisdom and insight you need, he will wait to answer you until you're in a position to accept his guidance. In other words, he wants you to be willing to do as he says. He wants you to surrender it over to God. If you think about it, Jesus made himself available to his disciples, but they had to choose to follow him and obey his commands. Some who heard the Savior speak went away unchanged, but those who submitted to his leadership experienced a dramatic transformation. You have the same opportunity today. So present yourself to the Lord, knowing that he loves and accepts you completely, and do as he says. And friend, be assured as he works on your heart, change will come. Some of them painful, some of them delightful, but all of them purposeful. Father, I will trust your ways for my life. Help me graciously accept whatever changes or opportunities you put before me. Amen. In his presence, allow him to guide your steps. So you can be successful, right, in the eyes of society, but still never be fulfilled. There's a difference. So if you decide to just ignore what God has placed in your heart, because God's voice is low. You say, I'm going to go after this regardless. I'm going to make a lot of money. I'm going to be successful. I'm going to fulfill an insecurity. And you might get it, right? I mean, there's tons of people that do that, right? But they're not fulfilled. They're not satisfied. So then they go back to God and say, God, I'm not happy. You know, now I want to build this relationship with Christ. He's going to be there waiting for you. But when he tells you what to do, when he exposes your own sin, your own fault, your own desires, if you ignore that, you're not going to be fulfilled either. You have to discern his voice, listen to what he says. And it says here it's painful because he's going to reveal things within yourself that you swept under the rug. And as you build this relationship and as you discern his voice and you've done it all, doesn't mean it's not going to come back tomorrow. That's why we say every day, build a relationship. How do you how do you define a relationship? A relationship is something that you, you work on every day. It's not something you just, you know, I, I go to the gym on Friday and then Tuesday and expect the results. You need to work on it every day. So when the enemy comes, when the thoughts of depression, the anxiety, whatever it is, whatever you, you deal with, you can go and turn to God. You can recite scripture and say, that's not true. That's not what God has placed in my heart. You have to have these conversations with yourself. To forget about other people, it's with yourself just to remind yourself that this is not from God. God didn't change his mind. I've discerned his voice. I've spoken to him. And I choose to follow what Jesus Christ says, not what the world says and not what the enemy says, and maybe not even what your friends and family says. The only thing you need to follow is what's in this Bible. Until next time, always remember you have the ability to inspire and evangelize through your words and actions.